The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. Hey guys, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Reno Kumra Was in My Hero Academia. This is part three. In the last part, uh, Ren entered in the entrance exam, destroyed one of the zero point robots, and was quite, and took down A, and saved a girl with vines for hair. Which I'll explain that later. At any rate, let's get to this. Now, guys. Right after and Ren finally getting accepted into UA, he's actually hyped and basically, while well, he's he basically couldn't sleep for the past couple of days because he was just too excited about going to his dream school. Not only that, he knows that Izuku is also going to UA, but also alongside Bakugo. Real. Knowing this, he actually tried to prevent uh, Izuku Bakugo to threaten Izuku and asked him why he, he even got into UA at all, knowing that he's quirkless and everything. As Ren tells Bakugo, knock it off, Katsuki. He's Izuku probably worked his butt off to get into the school. You can't demoralize him just because he has no quirk. Soon after, Izuku says, Ren, it's okay. It doesn't, you don't have to worry about me. Izuku, I can stand on my own two feet now. I'm not the same person I used to be. I promise you. Izuku. Ren, seeing the determination in his eyes, realized, all right then, then I got nothing to worry about. Let's go. As they, push, as they, as they both pass Bakugo and seeing him frustrated, He's just so annoyed seeing both of them are going to go to UA. Soon after, Ren, his father, is bas basically just slaps him on the face, telling him, Get a hold of yourself, boy. I know you get. Did you even. I know you haven't been sleeping, but I know you can't be daydreaming about stuff you don't need to worry about. And she said, Shut up, old man. I got this. I don't need to worry about me. Trust me. I'll be fine. Fusia soon tells, yeah, I know you will. Just promise me you'll be good. Ren nods his head and soon realizes, asking where Yukio's been. As he said, oh yeah, you didn't know. Yukio left early since, you know, Shiketsu's on the other side of the country. He has to work. He had to leave early to get, catch a plane to, to go there. As Ren realizes that he won't be seeing his brother for a while now due to things what's due to them going to different schools but decides to just take it take the chance and prove that he can handle himself even without his brother by his side and Ren goes off while also carrying his sword also taking his sword along anyway as it is put since he said that the sword is part of his quirk anyway it, during his entrance exam forms and his costume forms as well so he can't leave school so he can't leave without it. There he takes the train where he meets up with Izuku where he meets up with Izuku as the two basically head into the school. Yeah, he's surprised seeing this. As he's basic as the two are the two are hyped seeing their dream school. He just where Izuku goes on ahead and Ren is still daydreaming, thinking about the time that he's going to be the hero that the world truly needs. That he's going to be the number one hero, protecting and saving lives. As that fantasy is soon dropped off, as soon as he begins falling, realizing that, well, I'm guessing I'm dead. That dream wasn't a fake. As he keeps thinking, sorry Yukio, I failed you bro. As he's soon grabbed by multiple vines all around him, wondering, what the hell? Wait, what the? As he sees a girl with vines for hair, basically saying, 
It's your first day in school. And you are daydreaming and soon you are planning to fall. I think it's God's blessing that I was here for you. Don't you agree? As he begins realizing she speaks like a nun. Hell, if the old man was here, he would get a kick off this. Especially since he's a perv. As she lets go of him, Ren says thanks about thanks. Huh, you so looks like you're a student here. You plan on going to the hero course? As she says, yes, I plan to be a hero. Just like I he Just like it was told by Destiny. As okay. What's your name? And what class you're going to? My name is Abara Ch Chirozu. I am going to IB in class 1B, as Ren says, crap, I'll be in class 1A. And not like that, realizing that the girl is pretty cute, he's actually pretty shame, but just decides to take it, but doesn't, well, worry too much about it. And so, and says, since we're, but we're still gonna be in a hero course, so we might catch each other from time to time. Well, we can meet each other again. As she says, if if it's God's plan, then I hope we do meet again. Um, Ren, Ren Okumura, but just call me Ren. I hate that formal crap. As she says, yes, it's a pleasure meeting you, Ren. As he says, <laughs> she's pretty cool. Eh, way too cool for me, I gotta say. As he heads back and realizes that, oh shit, I'm gonna be late. Uh, he gets to the door and he already sees quite the commotion going on in class 1A. Seeing that I Izuku is basically in front of a girl, talking to a girl and a dude with four eyes. And a, and a dude with, four, with glasses realizing, hey, isn't that, hey, hey you, are you trying to mess with Izuku here? I said, wait, you're the guy from the entrance exam. I rem I remember you. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Soon. Don't worry. Hey, he's hey, don't worry about it, Ren. It's not what you think. He's not bothering me. As soon after Huh, if you say so. I get my eye on you, four eyes. I already deal with one four eyes in my life, don't need another. Is what is that supposed to mean? Uh, but soon after Ida realizes, I, I believe we got on the wrong foot. My name is Tenya Ida. I went to the Pr Somme Private School Academy, and you are uh, Ren, Ren Okumura. Eh, don't worry about my school. That doesn't mean crap to me. Just know that we'll be classmates. Try not to, well, annoy me too much. Soon after, they real. Soon after, Ren feels a presence behind him and says, Who the hell are you? The dude in a yellow sleeping bag saying, 20 seconds. It took you 20 seconds for you all to shut up. That's not going to fly with me. So, I decided to... Uh, I'll, my name is Mr. Aizawa. I will be your homeroom teacher for, for your entire first year. So... I want you to put these on as he as he shows a UA track uniform, gym uniform, and goes out and tells them to meet him outside. There, he wants to test all their skills and and their quirk and their quirk, but using their quirks only. Soon after saying that, he throws a ball to Bakugo, saying, "You, you had the highest score in the entire entrance exam." As Ren says, "Seriously." Kotsky had the highest score? Jesus, how annoying. I bet his ego is off the charts right about now, but I can't let that get in the way. Soon after, Bakugo throws the ball and says as usual, Go to hell! As the ball shoots at least 700 meters in the air. As everyone is, gets excited, Ren even gets a little bit excited, but realizes he still, he may have a handle on some of his full power, especially when he uses the ku the Kudikata sword. However, he realizes his limit. Realizes on how much he can use his full power for at least three, five minutes. 
after that five minutes is up, he's done for. He loses control of his of his quirk and succumbs to his anger. There he knows that he can't use too much of his power for so for too long. As he as everyone goes and does their exam, uh, Ren just uh, Ren isn't as well athletic and as fast as in the meter dash. He only gets at least well three sec. He only gets at least six seconds. And the high jump, not he's pretty. He jumps pretty pretty far, but not too, but not too, but not as far as everyone else. At least like well 15 meters. There, he. Also in the pull-ups, he's pretty strong, but doesn't get as high as everyone else. Probably gets at least sixth place in that. As soon after they get to the ball throws and realize there, he he comes out. He's the only the last one up next to well Izuku, so he plans on throwing the ball as usual. But then Aizawa says, basically grabs him by his scarf and says. You just planned on using your core, using just your regular strength. That's not gonna fly in my book. As Ren said, hey, you don't know what I've gone through. Do you really want to see me use my full strength? As he, as I always said, go ahead. Show me what you can truly do, Okumura. As, fine. Hey, Izuku, throw me my, throw me that red, that red cloth in, as he said, uh, sure. Here. He throws on the sword and binds the, and takes off the red cloth from the, where everyone sees a blue katana, a blue katana based sword. As Ren draws it, his flames begin engulfing his entire body. Not only that, they even see a tail coming from Ren as well. As he said, whoa. As two blue, as two small blue flames that look like horns are on the top of his head. There, he throws the sword on the, he pins the sword into the ground, and takes the ball. As the ball begins engulfing itself in flames, before, damn it, he throws it as far as he can, and he throws at least 725 meters in the air. Realizing on how strong he truly is, as this, as he realizes this, he throws a ball, and he get he sheaves his sword before his flames can consume him. And Aizawa said, "Huh, so that's what you can truly do." There, they bear, nobody even sees the ball anymore, saying that my flames consume everything; they burn everything. You really think I'm not going to? If I'm going to show my true power, I have to show on how I can control my flames at, it, at its best. Don't expect, don't expect me to control my flames so easily when I can't even control them as a kid. As Ren take, takes his sword and gets back in line. Last one up being Izuku. As Izuku see, sees this, he's just as motivated to, ha to show what he can do just like Ren. Not only that, since Ren has encouraging him to try and be a hero, he trained at a pretty early age, like at least 10, where he had, where he does like basic strength training, like sit-ups, push-ups, all that stuff. Where, where he did inherit one for all, he acts, he's now able to at least use 10% of one for all pretty easily, but only 10%, not at its best. Not, he's still not at his best yet. Where he can, he doesn't know how to use full cow just yet though, and uses one for all to throw the ball, to throw the ball as fast as he can from a single point in his body, without breaking his finger actually. So he's done pretty well. As everyone sees the results, there Izu Izuku still gets last place and Ren gets at least well seventh place and as everyone, as Aizawa tells them none of you are being expelled just wanted to see what you can truly do at your full capabilities nothing said 
Nothing says people giving it their all when they, when fear of expulsion after all. As everyone seems calm, even Ren says, seriously, what an asshole. And this is our teacher for the rest of the year? Ugh, how annoying. There, Ren soon, Ren and Izuku soon leave and get their sil- and get their syllabus and head back to the s- and about to head home. Where they are stopped by both Ochiko and Ida as well, as they all four of them plan on going to the station, where they hang out, where they hang out a little bit, talking about them being heroes and everything. As Ren feels like. He's not, he doesn't just have Izuku anymore. He may have more friends than he thinks. And he looks forward to what UA has to offer him. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it a lot. Hope you tell me what you guys think about this in the comments below. Also, like the video if you guys want to also subscribe too as well. At any rate, this is Leon Moki signing out. Later.